Micro and Nano Manufacturing. ME 474. Module 2. Part 2. Presented by. Jithu C. John. Assistant Professor. Department of Mechanical Engineering. Government Engineering College, Kojikode. Micro grinding. It gives good precision and surface finish. Micro grinding is used typically for machining cylindrical components and grooves with small dimensions and to obtain flat surfaces with very fine finish. One advantage of micro grinding over other mechanical micro machining processes is the ability to machine hard and brittle materials. Micro grinding is a common technique used in the fabrication of WC micro end mills and micro drill bits. The major application area of such grinding processes is in semiconductor industries where silicon wafers with a nano level surface finish are ground. This process is also widely used in hardened steel and ceramic mold manufacturing. This figure compares the tungsten carbide workpiece fabricated with centerless micro grinding and human hair. This is an SEM image of a grinding tool with a diameter of 45 micrometer and a tool surface of 1 to 3 micrometer grid size. Micro grinding is done using a grinding wheel consisting of an abrasive and a matrix. Performance of grinding wheel depends on the type of abrasive particle used, the size of the grid, the hardness of the abrasive used, the bond material, the wheel structure. As the diameter of the grinding wheel decreases, the effects of higher plowing forces and grinding wheel deformation become more predominant in micro grinding operations. Efficient and reliable micro grinding tools with diameters down to 13 micron are manufactured by using electroplated diamond grits on carbide micro shanks. Dressing and truing of the grinding tools are not necessary. The chip accommodation space is also relatively large, so the wheel loading phenomenon is eliminated. Requirements for the ultra precision machine tool are precise, smooth, and backlash free motions, low levels of synchronous and asynchronous spindle errors, high static slash dynamic loop stiffness, long thermal dimensional control. Diamond and CBN are the two most widely used abrasives in micro grinding operations. There are two types of diamond naturally occurring and synthetically manufactured. Both have very high wear resistance, heat conductivity, hardness, and low coefficient of friction. It also possesses high chemical reactivity with some metallic materials. Diamond abrasives are used only for grinding of brittle non-ferrous materials such as silicon, glass, and ceramics. Diamond grains are coated with suitable materials that prevent oxidation and thereby improve the grinding ratio. Coarse-grained diamond grits that have higher abrasion resistance and better thermal stability. CBN has superior thermochemical stability compared to diamond. Can be used for grinding those ferrous materials. The major bond systems used in grinding wheels are, 1, metallic, 2, resinoid, and, 3, vitrified. Metal bonding can be separated into two different types, sintered metal bonding and electroplating. In ultra-precision grinding, the sintered metal bond system is used for thin wheels that cut brittle materials. Electroplated metal bonding is applied to single-layered grinding wheels with well-defined positioning of the grains. High heat conductivity and good wear resistance are the major benefits of metal-bonded grinding tools. Resin-bonded grinding wheels are normally used for rough grinding or abrasive machining purposes. For ultra-precision grinding, Epoxy or polyester resins are used to generate high surface qualities by soft, smooth grinding or polishing. Vitrified bonds have a glass-like structure and are fabricated at high temperatures. Vitrified bonds have higher strength and are easier to dress. The elastic modulus is almost four times higher than the resin bonding. Wheels are classified as undefined or defined grain settings, grooved wheels, or cup wheels. The wheel diameter ranges from 50 to 400 micro m and the grain sizes from fine grained, 
0.125 m.m, to coarse grained, 200 m.m. Undefined grain wheels with radial feed for surface grinding of optical products such as lenses and mirrors. In cup wheels grains are arranged in axial direction then radial direction. Grooved grinding wheels are also used where deep grooves are made on the wheel. It also minimizes heat transfer into the workpiece. The figure shows small punches made by ultra precision micro grinding, achieving punch diameters as small as 25 micrometer. However, for producing non circular tools, other processes have to be used. Electrical discharge machining processes, EDM, enable the manufacture of even smaller structures without limitations on circular geometries. Grinding fluids are mostly used to reduce heat generation, reducing friction, minimizing thermal damages. Only water-based coolants should be used in micro-grinding operations. The figure shows a micro-grinding machine with numerical axis controls. Micro-milling MICRO milling is basically scaled-down version of micro-milling. MICRO milling is widely used for fabrication of grooves, cavities, and 3D concave and convex shapes. 3D parts from metals, ceramics, and plastics in small batch sizes, with an acceptable accuracy and precision can be done. This figure shows the examples of high accuracy micro milled components and micro structures. A. Micro trenches, B. Micro reactor, C. Micro mold, D. Micro gear, E. 3D micro machined part, F. Micro projection array, G. Micro needles array, H. Micro wall, I. Target foil for nuclear fusion. Micro milling using flat bottom or ball end mills at high rotational speeds can achieve good accuracy low surface roughness, and can provide high MRRs with feature sizes as small as 510 mu m. Run out error of tool. Higher ratio of tool run out to tool diameter one of the cutting edges to be active at the same time. Error in predicting the cutting forces. MICRO milling with tungsten carbide tools can be used for machining various materials such as steel, aluminum, and brass. Mostly made of tungsten carbide on a cobalt matrix, WCCO. The ratio of the feed per tooth to the radius of the cutter is much greater in micro milling than in conventional milling. Micro milling is subject to sudden tool failure because of its highly unpredictable cutting action. Tool deflection in micro milling greatly affects chip formation and the accuracy of the desired surface, compared to conventional milling. Micro end mills are made of sintered WC. Composed of fine grains, 0.4 mu m, of WC, about 75%, embedded in a cobalt, 15%, binder. Edge radii between 1.5 and 5 mu m are fabricated on carbide micro end mills. High spindle speed, high machine tool precision, low vibration is required in macro end milling. The figure shows optical image of a typical micro end mill that is 300 micrometer in diameter. SEM image of the bottom of the micro end mill and SEM image of a corner of the tool with edge radius. In micro end milling, the ratio of the feed per tooth to the tool radius is considerably higher compared with conventional macro end milling. As the tool diameter decreases, the rigidity of the tool also decreases which leads to tool deflections under heavy chip load and sudden breakage of tool. The tool edge radius and small feed per tooth make minimum chip thickness. This figure illustrates full immersion micro end milling process. This image shows different type of micro milling tools. The figure shows SEM image of tungsten carbide micro end mill tool. Reasons for tool breakage are 1. Excessive stress-related breakage Increase the cutting force beyond the strength of the tool Loose of cutting edge sharpness, chip clogging 
2. Fatigue-related breakage. Repeatedly changing stress on the shaft. Cutting force and stress increase for a longer time. 3. Increase in SP energy in small chip thickness. 4. Tool run out. The tools are made from tungsten carbide coated with titanium carbide to improve their wear resistance. The diameters are in the range of 0.2 mm to 0.1.5 mm. Tools with DIA less than 100 micro.m is not recommended because of unpredicted tool failure. Where reducing PVD coatings of tile, tin will enhance the tool life. Diamond cutting tools can produce surface roughness RA of 10 nm. But diamond tools are not used for ferrous metals and 700C above due to degradation. Degradation can be controlled by reducing contact time B-W tool and workpiece. Nano crystal coating on WC micro end mills shows great results. WP hardness limited to 50 to 60 HRC due to tool stiffness. Chemical reactivity, crystalline structure, defect distribution, heat treatment micro machinability factors. Applications Aerospace Automotive, Biomedical, Electronics, IT, Optics, Telecommunications, Jewelry, Watchmaking etc. Production of Prototypes Mask for Lithography Mold for Micro-Injection Molding and Hot Imposing Electrode for EDM Microfluidic Channel Showing 3-Dimensional Topographic Profile that is machined using MICRO milling tools the branched network is also shown that combines flows and mixes them as performed by adding colored dyes to a liquid that produces a graded output of fluid. This figure illustrates some of the MICRO milling applications, a. Lab on a chip, b. Microplate with 96 capillarity electrophoresis system, vacuum hot embossing plate from MICRO milled mold, and filling of one structure, c. Medicine MICRO dosage system, D. Sweat stick for collecting human sweat. MICRO milling applications, continue, E. Integrated polymer microfluidic stacks, chemiluminescence experiment, F. Dental brackets, G. Tissue removal tools for endoscopy, H. Cataract lenses, I. Fabrication of TI retinal microtac, J. Watch base plate, K, engraving watch base plate, I, watch parts, M, pendant mold, N, multifiber connector, MICRO milled mold for X ray mask fabrication and micro injected connector, O, joining element for optical fiber connector, P, test membrane for computer chip manufacturing, Q, injection nozzles for diesel engines. Thanks for watching this video. This module is continued in next video as part 2 of module 2. Please subscribe to this channel for more lecture videos. Until next time. Adios.